You know, if we got a job today, I'm gonna record, I think, the whole pruning process. We've got these three fruit trees here. I believe we've got, uh, looks like pear, cherry, and apple. So we're going to, a little camera on my hat, and we're gonna talk you through how we prune these things. Unfortunately, it's cold. I got my hat on backwards, but we'll see how it all works. Uh, so, first thing we want to go through is we got to see that, you know, we got to know that there are different kinds of buds on your fruit tree. You're going to have, you're going to have, uh, let's see if we could place we can point it out. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're gonna have vegetation, vegetative buds here, here, and here. This is last year's growth, and then so those le those buds right there are gonna make foliage. These buds, you see how they're out? They're kind of like they're not attached to the stem. These are fruit buds. Those can make flowers and make fruit. So, our goals are of pruning is to open these trees up to the sun so you can get more light in here. <clears throat> also directionally pruning these branches so they're growing in the way that we want and spacing the tree out, thinning it out so we can get more airflow in here. Uh, here's an example of something that we're going to prune out. This branch right here is going to make foliage and block the sun to all these inner branches. So this thing we don't want here. We're going to cut that out. <clears throat> this thing is blocking this. And we probably don't want this branch growing back out anymore. So we're going to get rid of him. And we've got nice spacing in here. I like that spacing. <clears throat> this thing we probably don't want running out anymore. This one right here is dead and diseased. We're going to cut that out. Come in here. This one's growing in between all this stuff. We don't need that touching. We want to air that area out. So we're going to get rid of that. This one in here is growing up, kind of like this branch growing out, so we're going to get rid of that. Any of the dead, diseased material that you find, you can get rid of. This branch, we don't want it growing this way, we want it to grow that way. So that's how we, we prune that to left that energy to go out this way. <clears throat> Eventually this branch is going to run into here, so at some point in time we'll probably cut that out. This we don't want growing up, we like growing out. <clears throat> this part we've got some damage there. This one's growing the wrong direction. We're gonna cut it here. It's gonna invigorate that bud to grow out. We leave it a little bit of a stub so in case this dies back, it's not killing the bud. Now, after we kinda do that, that's basically just talking you through how to do some stuff. When I'm pr pruning the whole tree, the first thing I'm going to do is grab my saw and I go through and make bigger cuts. Once we make these bigger cuts, then we can go through and dress smaller cuts. I find stuff like this, which is touching, <coughs> touching, it's obviously too close to everything. So we just come in here and start thinning things. Try and thin major branches out. Anything like this that looks dead and diseased, you can cut that out. Every year you're cutting your dead and diseased stuff out. In here we've got all three of these branches. We can cut this one out. This thing's probably going to get blocked by that one. Ooh, we're going to cut this thing out. Cut that thing out. This thing out. 
Got to cut that thing out. I'll leave some of these little little things on the inside because they have they have fruit buds and they are gonna you know they're gonna produce fruit. This one you can kind of see it's got these little like they look almost like little veins. It's so likely this branch is either diseased or dead because of those those little veiny things. So cut it out. This is a big cluster. You can see that this is like it's too too thick. So we've got to figure out, you know, maybe this thing is going to grow in here, so we can have this kind of grow out that way. So a bunch of this stuff that's growing through, we don't need that. Right, this is going to turn our growth out that way. This is going to block some light. This thing is kind of touching. We'll stub it off to there so that I can go out that way. Boom, boom. Once we're here. Always remove these things. Don't prune around them. You'll end up breaking them. This one you get rid of. Crossing over this thing. Got disease right there. Cut that out. Sometimes with your disease stuff, it's usually easier to do that, cut that disease stuff out in the summer and cut things back. This one we're gonna cut back to here. Usually if you have a disease branch, you're gonna see it in there. And if when you cut here you don't see it, then you know that that dead or diseased material is somewhere in there so when you've cut it you've kind of cut it all the way out if you just cut it to here it's likely it's going to spread back over in there so it's better here cut it all the way out if you think you're dealing with you know fire blight or something you should sterilize sterilize your wound your pruning cuts sterilize your equipment in between cuts like there's a little either probably a dead area Comes from there. This one might be a little bit too low. We're gonna take him all the way off. In here, we're just gonna thin this. You know, maybe you go every other branch, something like that, just so you can kind of space all this stuff out. You know, you want to leave some. That one's got some fruit buds on it, so it's good to leave it. Otherwise, a lot of this inner stuff is, is coming out. This branch has gone out really far. We're gonna try and take it back a bit, just so when it gets fruit, it's not gonna be way too heavy. This is kind of blocking light to all this other stuff. So it's best to knock it out. In here, the inner stuff first. Knock a lot of that inner growth out. You know, knock that inner material out so you open the light up. This thing is kind of blocking. You know, the sun's coming this way. We're gonna get this thing out of there. back to there. I don't know if I like that cut. We'll see. This has got some decent fruit buds on it. I'm going to leave it in there. And you know, but that opens all, opens that up nicely. This thing really is in the center of the tree. Uh, it might we're gonna kind of thin it, see if we like it, the way it looks. But it might be best to take this thing all the way out. You know. Yeah. 
There we go. That's not bad. Well, the supper stuff, we're going to, um, you know, now that we've kind of got this bottom of the tree <coughs> thinned out to where we want it, you know, with the handsaw, I'll come in here and come in here and thin things out with my with my pruner. You know, cutting out that one and leaving this other branch because this one has more vigor. And I think I want it. I don't want it growing up. Cut it to that bud so it grows out. This thing, I don't want it growing up anymore. But if you cut it here, you cut more, the more growth you cut out, the more this bud is going to grow. So I think if we turn it right to there, we may slow that growth down a bit. Let's see if we can maybe get this straight. A little bit of growth out that way. Cut that off. This, we got these fruit buds there. We're going to try and stop that growth and just get that right in there. This stuff out, you know, we're trying to, we're going to try and, as we're thinning this out, we're leaving some fruit buds over in here. You know, we don't want to be thinning like in here. If we don't want this anymore, we'd leave, try and leave that bud so you get some flowers in it, you know, because otherwise you print off all these flowers and you're not going to get any fruit next year and client's going to be like, oh man, this guy came and pruned my fruit tree and then it looked worse the next year. Well, it's because you pruned all their fruit buds off. So make sure you're not pruning off everybody's fruit buds. Otherwise, you ain't going to get hired again. And, you know, you should be able to do this pretty quickly. You know, I... You should be able to prune these trees pretty quick. You know, hopefully to get this thing done in about a half hour or something like that. That fruit, eh, fruit bud, fruit bud, we'll leave it. This fruit bud there. That's not bad. This one to there. And you know, this stuff just takes time. I want that growing out that way. This one I don't like growing out. We're gonna we want we got, we got this fruit bud there. I don't want to cut it. So what I'm gonna try and do, fruit bud right there. I don't want to cut it. I'm going to cut. I want to find a bud that's faced the direction I want. I want it to go that way. Let's get rid of all this. We'll try and get that to grow that way. Next year we'll probably just cut this branch back somewhere else. But um yeah, we're getting in here. Two branches right there. We don't want one of them, you know, but we don't want to cut this one all the way off because it's got a bunch of buds on it. So we are going to thin him a little bit. Oh, we can actually get rid of this one. Well, back to that fruit bud there. This, we want to get rid of that. I don't like this upward growth right in here. This one, this is all vegetative pretty much. So, uh, we like these little clusters in here. Don't like that right there. So, we can see now, you see how the bottom of that tree looks? We're gonna do that to the upper part of the tree now. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to either stand up there or do it with the pole. I don't want to do it with the pole, so we're going to try and stand. Always try and stand when you can. This one, you're going to get this out of the center. So the two ways you're going to, pretty much the two ways with home fruiting stuff, fruiting fruit trees, you're going to be pruning them in two types of forms, either a modified, modified central leader, meaning the tree has a central leader, and you're kind of pruning around that central leader, or 
open canopy. Open canopy, you don't really have a central leader. You just kind of pruning to open it up. It'll have an open center of the tree. That's most of the time, you're not gonna have these trees are gonna have either one of those forms because nobody really cares for them like that. Unfortunately, you get calls out like this where it's, somebody planted a tree, never pruned it, and then you're just kind of stuck doing whatever. And so you're, you're halfway in between both. I mean, this thing is gonna have two, I don't know, it, it's gonna look more like an open canopy than anything else. And the other thing we want to do here is uh, is we're kind of try and push some of this growth down. We don't want these trees to get any taller. People aren't going to be able to get fruit. Any of this stuff that's growing straight up goes away. So we're opening all that stuff up in there to the sun. And this whole thing that's going out that way, it's got a ton of buds on it, but we're gonna wanna try and prune a little bit of it down. Most of this other stuff, little smaller stuff, we're gonna get from the ground. We're just gonna do most of our major, most of our bigger cuts. We're gonna do them with the, with the handsaw while standing out here, cause it saves time. And you know, Everything's about, everything's time, you know. We wanna make our money as quickly as possible. Get home so we can do fun stuff like, like I was doing this morning. Work on our taxes. Yeah, we kind of thinned up, opened most of this stuff out. There's a big crossing branch here, but you also got this one that goes up through that way. We're getting rid of this one. This thing, we don't want this thing growing up. It's grown up enough. And, you know, this thing got some good buds right there. We're gonna leave that that year, this year. I don't know why, it smells like poop. Out here. Like a septic or something. And that should kind of be the majority of the larger cuts we're making today. So now we're gonna get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. Run over here. Well, we're not actually gonna run. When I grew up, my father told me, when you're working, you don't run ever. And so I don't because because that's what I was told not to do. Don't run while you're working. This stuff, it's growing up. You can see here we got all these branches growing up there straight. We're gonna cut that middle one out. This cut out. This looks like I can see a fruit bud there. Cutting that there. This thing is doing too much. Getting that one out. Getting that thing out. Too close. Too close. This thing, we don't want it growing up. We like it growing out. That is too many branches right here. 
too many branches. So we'll pluck one out. That is gonna get our hanger out of there. This thing we get back to there. Pull your hangers out. Because I was looking at this area, I said, man, there's way too many branching in there. I'm going to have to take a lot of stuff out of there. But no, it was just there was too many hangers. So always take your hangers out before you make your decisions. That one's coming out. Oh, branch is broken. He's getting out of there. He's getting out of there. This is getting out of there. That's getting out of there. Uh, that's getting out of there. You know, one of the things about pruning, well, at the end, dude, when you get really good at pruning trees, it's all about density. You look at canopy density and being able to see where you need to prune stuff just to make it uniformly dense. This branch is too long. We don't want all that weight over there when it's fruits. So this is going away. And that's going away. This is too much in the center. That's kind of like your modified open canopy. So we have all this. Your modified open canopy would have essentially have no branches out here in the middle, or very few. We're just not there with this tree yet. Some time maybe, but not yet. Too tall. This too much branching in here. So pick the branches that are gonna make the most difference and getting the density of that area down. So I think it's that one. Yeah, little guy. <clears throat> this one goes the center. You know, we've got too much going on here. Bang. Leave this fruit bud. Bang. That out there. Oh, bald eagle. We don't want the hanging down, so they're just going to get weighted a little bit more and probably more, more likely to snap, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Let's get this guy out. He's too tall. There, there, nice, save that butt, <sighs> I don't like this one, there we go, that should be pretty close, we got a little bit right here, always step away. Where you can make your cuts. No, oh, guys, too much. This is gonna want to... There you go, that guy's out of there. This is too close. This is a weird branch. You know. Shape looks pretty good. Shape looks pretty good. Density looks pretty good. Amount of foliage on the ground, you got what, like a third, something like that. You call that tree done for the year. Um, if you if you do more than that, if you do more than that, it's just too much.
material out of there. And that took us about 25 minutes. So, yep, there you go. 25 minutes.